Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how can we call the servlet from the JSP page. So here I have created one project in the Eclipse that is test pros. Here what we will do in this SRC go to main and go to web app. Here first of all we will create one JSP page. So right click on this web app and go to new and click on JSP file. Here we will create test.jsp and here we can see test.jsp is created now next step is what we have to do we have to create one servlet so for that uh, right click on this src main java then go to new and go to servlet and here we have to give the java package that is com.servlet.test we will give here and class name we will give here as test servlet then click on next this is url pattern url mapping next and click on finish so servlet is created we will delete this we will not require this also delete this and this is also not required so we will require only this do get and do post method now we will write some content in this test servlet for printing and for that we have to get a print writer how can we get print writer pw equals to res dot response get writer how to import control shift o and imported print writer next is set content type content type how to set res dot response dot set content type here you can see mime type as text slash html next uh, write some text write some text content to display on the page so how to write pw dot print ln and we have to take here s2 close this s2 and here we'll write this is a servlet page this is servlet now servlet is done now how to call this servlet from the jsp so from the test dot jsp how can we call so there are two may ways we can call by using rd dot forward and next one is by rd dot in um, means sorry we can use the jsp colon forward or uh, what jsp colon include from the test servlet we can also call this jsp i have already created video in that we will use uh, request dispatcher dot forward and include method so now in this video we are going to see from the jsp how to call the servlet so how to call this first we will see by using the jsp colon forward tag so what we have to do we have to write jsp colon and press control space and here you can see jsp forward where is forward here you can see jsp forward and in the page we have to what we have to give we have to give this url pattern of this servlet so let me copy this and go to tester.jsp and paste here so what happen whenever you give the we will give the request to this uh, test.jsp it will call this test servlet it will call this test servlet so that means we are calling this servlet from our jsp so how to see right click on this test project we will run this run as run on server it will open in browser so i am using here tomcat click on uh, next and click on finish it will open in the browser and you can see test project or project name now what we will do we will give the request to jsp page so what is the name of jsp page test.jsp and here you can see this is servlet is coming so here what is happening here you can see we are giving the test.jsp that means we are giving the request to jsp file and from the HP file it is calling that servlet and servlet content is printing here that means what is happening we are giving the request to this tester.jsp from tester.jsp here is jsp colon forward so it will call this servlet so it will go to servlet and whatever the content here we are printing this is servlet this is servlet is printing on our browser and next we can also use the include so how to use include in the place of forward just use includee include let me copy this and here we will paste as include then now what you have to do we uh, here write include 
now go to the browser and refresh this this is our relative case coming so if you do, uh, if you are confused that it is a previous one i will write some content here also this is a servlet page and save this and we are we are using here what include go to the browser and refresh this so the uh, it is reloaded browser and after refreshing here we can see this is the servlet page is coming so two ways by using which we can call the servlet from the jsp and uh, what is the difference between include and forward so let us understand what is the difference between include and forward so if, if i write here uh, some content as cs2 this is this is uh, what header and at the end we'll write here let me delete this is footer this is footer and if i save here and we will go to browser and refresh this here you can see this is header this is what i will explain this so this is from the our jsp file this is from the servlet and this is from the our jsp so what we are doing first of all we are giving the request we are executing this page called test.jsp in that we have written first one is as what we have written s2 in the s2 we have written header and we are for including include what servlet and at the end we have printed footer so what is happening this is a code of our test.jsp first header is printed you can see here header is printed next it is including that means it is calling the servlet and the whatever the content of servlet it will print here and at the end footer we have print and that content is we can get here footer and here what we are in, uh, using include jsp colon include but what happen when we use forward forward if you use forward what happen let us see we'll go here here you you understood this this is a header this is a footer and in the middle we are uh, including this uh, we are calling this test servlet so this data and test servlet data and footer is coming now what we'll do here i will use forward and also here we'll use forward and if i save this and go to the browser and if i refresh here you can see only the content of the servlet is we are getting this is servlet page we are not getting this this is this is header and this is footer we are not getting so in the include what is happening we are getting this content of jsp as well as servlet in the jsp colon include tag but whenever we are using jsp colon forward we are getting only the servlet content so what we can say here there are two methods from two tags from which we can call servlet from the jsp first one is jsp colon include next is jsp colon forward <coughs> so when to use <coughs> jsp colon include whenever we want the jsp content as well as the servlet content in the web page that then in that case we'll use jsp colon include and when to use jsp colon forward whenever we want only this servlet web component content in that case we'll use 
jsp colon forward so this is the way we can call servlet from the jsp